Miguel, thank you. The Tucson International Airport is gearing up for a pretty busy summer as more people get vaccinated. Yes, and on your sides, Megan Meyer joining us live from inside the terminal. Megan, we checked in with you a couple of minutes ago and still right now, very busy inside there. Good morning. Yes, definitely, Mark and Lydia. Very busy this morning. You can take a look at the long TSA line behind me. It's gotten shorter and longer throughout the morning, but people are ready to get out, escape the heat, and engage in travel again after the long pandemic year. Lenora and Ephraim Torres are back to booking flights after taking a break for more than a year. I liked how the plane wasn't super crowded, so we had some room between, so that was really great. Others like Robert Boignol never stopped traveling. Now he's excited to see more people walking through the terminals. It feels good, you know, to get back to normal and people seem happy and it's going to help the economy. More options are becoming available. Chief Operating Officer Bruce Getz says airlines are adding back two to three flights every month. Memorial Day and July 4th have been really strong uh, travel weekends, um, but we're still down a number of flights as a whole compared to 2019. In June of 2019, 100 flights came in and out of Tucson each day. In 2020, that number dropped over 50%, down to just 44. Now in 2021, the airport is back up to 84 flights daily. Nationwide, we are seeing uh, what appears to be a pretty strong demand for summer travel. And I think that's a reflection of folks getting vaccinated and feeling more comfortable about traveling. Airlines United and Delta recently announced they'll require new hires to be vaccinated, but Tucson Airport says they won't do the same with their staff. If businesses want to do that, that's an individual decision by those businesses, um, but it's not something that uh, as an airport we're going to mandate for either our staff or really even any of the uh, other companies that work at the airport here. And some things to keep in mind, if you have any upcoming travel plans, masks are still required by the TSA inside the terminal and on the plane. This applies to both vaccinated and unvaccinated people. Megan Meyer, Kagan Nunn on your side. All right, good stuff to know. Megan, thank you. If